Let me, let me, let me make an intro video real quick. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit weird. We're going to be playing Xbox in the Q60. So, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell notification so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. Share this video, you know, show it to all your friends, especially if you guys have a Q50 and a Q60. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can play Xbox. Yeah, it works for PlayStation as well. So, all you need <coughs> is an RCA to HDMI adapter and a power inverter. So, we're going to, and obviously a console if you're using an Xbox or a PlayStation. So, we're going to pick those up right now. I'll show you guys once we get to the uh, product. So, you guys can pick up the same ones. Yo guys, we are now at the house. We got kicked out of Walmart. As you guys saw in the last clip, Eric made a fucking mess and the manager came up to us and said no recording. So we had to buy the stuff quick and we left. So I'm gonna be showing you guys all the stuff we picked up right now. 20 something dollars and some change. So it's not that much money. In order for this to work in your car, you guys need to have a touchscreen in your car, obviously, which if you have a Q60 or a Q50, you guys already have a fucking touchscreen in your car. So you guys should be good. You guys have to have an RVA plug-in in your car as well. As long as you guys have that i'm gonna show you guys real quick what it is as long as you guys have that in your car you guys should be able to play xbox in your car so here it is this is literally if you have one of those in your car anywhere all you need right there just the uh, plug-in for the rca if you have that and a touchscreen of some some sort in your car you should be able to play xbox in your car so we're going to be showing you guys everything that we picked up from walmart and how to get started in this video this is it right here, right in front of me. This is the RCA to HDMI adapter that we picked up. This was $14.99, I believe. So you guys can pick it up at Walmart. Same with this. This is a power inverter. We just decided to get this one because it comes with two outlets. You could just get a different one. This is just the one we got. I think we paid $9.99 or some shit like that. And then you also need to get one of these for your audio. If you guys want audio, you guys definitely need to get one of these. These are couplers, so you can connect the composite AV cable. Mm -hmm to the RCA stereo cable. Yeah, and so then. You're gonna pretty much do this here. We'll show you guys right now, but yeah, that's what you need right there, guys. The, if you already have the cable, just, you know, you don't have to pick this and up. And then you're gonna do this. And then obviously the RCA, stereo RCA to stereo cable, yeah. And then once you got that, you obviously need a, some sort of console. We're gonna be using the Xbox One. If you have a PlayStation, that's fine. You shouldn't have any issues using a PlayStation. We're now in the Q60, as you guys can tell. I have everything set up now, basically, ready to go. The Xbox is right up top, as you guys can see. We have all the cables wired up. So before we actually get into the video, I wanna show you guys just how it's gonna go down. So all these cables that you guys have, first you wanna install your your power inverter into your cigarette lighter so once that's in there you then connect your yep right in there perfect then you connect your HDMI right to that end and then you have these three which is your RCA cables so the next thing that you would install would be your USB onto the power because if you don't connect that you're not gonna have any power to it so go ahead and connect it onto your power inverter like that okay and then once you have that set up, then you have the other three left over, which would be connected to your couplers. So once you connect your couplers to those RCAs, you're going to keep the yellow one for your video. And that would be installed into your input right there. So go ahead and do that, Eric. Perfect. And then you can install your couplers onto the other RCA end. So just like so. And again red with red and white with white and then that's going to be your auxiliary cord that would be going into your aux boom just like that once you have all that set up guys and ready to go turn the accs on so just press the button once once you have your acc turned on on your car you should have signal in your car so the power inverter will have a light on literally turn your xbox on or playstation and it should turn right on just like so
There you go, we have audio. All you have to do is hit this disc and aux button. Keep hitting it until that is showing. That's gonna be your small little TV right there. Once your Xbox is on, you can play whatever game you want. For instance, we're gonna be playing Call of Duty. So This is not a paid promotion. No, this is definitely not a paid promotion. So we'll get in a match right now and show you guys how we get down. Yo, I wanna play Minecraft, bro. And Roblox. Are those raised dog? Sheesh! Yo, how much of a flex is this, guys? We're literally playing Xbox in a Q60 right now. Not only are we playing Xbox, but we're using a Q60 in Forza while we're in a Q60. Like, what? Sheesh! No quema, cuh. Resolution is only 1080 on the Q50, Q60, so it's not 4K, but it's still pretty good. Like, the quality of it, it's not too bad. Depending on, you know, whatever car you guys are using. Pick up the sneak peek. Make sure you guys, uh... Are you interrupting me while I'm doing my <laughs> outro right now, though? Like, this is Supra, guys, so... It's slow as fuck, as you guys can tell. It's not 2JZ at all. It doesn't have a 2JZ in it. He doesn't have any race bucket seats in it. I'm gonna link it down in the description. Make sure you guys give him a follow. It's a clean ass Supra. Yo guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. We're so close to hitting 100. We're literally 10 subscribers away. So if you guys wanna help your boy out, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that bell notification so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. But other than that guys, it's been real. Thank you guys for making it this far in this video. Warning, warning. Another sighting for the full final Sakalabo Sita. This full cuckoo's on a sick one.